Hey there YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how I removed the most stubborn kingpins I've ever done in my life. I'm also going to explain to you how I got this black eye. Well you see when I was doing the other side I was trying to drive the kingpin out with the large drift and this sledgehammer. What had happened is I stood back and I walloped this thing as hard as I could and my drift bounced back, flew back at about Mach 2 and smacked me right in the face. So anyway, we've got our wheel in dis disassembled here. We've got the brakes off of it. We've got the S-cam assembly off of it. We've got all of our tie rod, drag link, all that stuff's disconnected. We've got our bolt backed out on the pinch nut. Now these can be kind of stubborn sometimes. So I leave the nut on. I back the end of the threads out just a little past the end of the bolt. Then I use a drift and a hammer and that one came right out. Bolt off. Make sure that that pinch bolt's out. Now some axles will have two which is another reason why it's important to clean all this up good. You want to make sure that you get them all out. All right, now, so what we got here is it's a 20-ton Harbor Freight press. Now, what I've done to make it work for this, well, basically, I cut the bottom of it off so that I could fit it in here, and then there's a bottom support piece that had to be cut out and welded back in that keeps these from bowing outwards. Now, when I did the other side, I had so much force on this, I was basically standing on this jack, and this whole assembly was bowing, and I was applying heat to the center eye before this thing finally decided it wanted to start moving. Now, hopefully this side won't be quite as stubborn, but we're about to find out anyway. Now that was rather unspectacular. Our kingpin's already coming out. coming out very at this point and our two pins out. And that's what a king pin looks like. Now we just gotta remove this press. Drive out the old bushings and seal seal. Then we're going to clean any grease and grime from the area we're working in. Flat this. We're going to clean any rust or burrs from the area where the spindle rides on the actual eye. And then repeat the process on the other side. Then we're going to use a brake hone to clean the bores that the bushings go into. 
keep in mind that you're not trying to actually remove any material to just clean the area and prepare it to drive the new bushing jack. and then repeat the process for the other side. Now we're going to drive our new bushings in. Sometimes I'll use the kingpin to help guide the bushing and make sure that the and the bushing does not jump over itself. And then we're going to repeat the process on the other side making sure to stop occasionally and check if the progress is going good and nothing's getting out of alignment. After we clean everything up good, we're going to lube the king pen up again and check its fit. It fits a little snug, which is to be expected. You then use your brake cone to size the bushings, do a little bit at a time, and check your fit often until you have proper kingpin fit. Then you will install your seals with the lip facing towards the actual eye. Thoroughly clean the axle eye. Use your brake cone to clean the axle eye. And check your kingpin fit. Make sure that it moves easily and there's no side to side play. Use the flat disc to clean the top and bottom surface. Install your spindle assembly. Grease the kingpin and bushings. Insert the thrust bearing. Then insert the kingpin to the top of the actual eye, but not further. Use a spacer and a floor jack to put upward pressure on the spindle. Try various different size shims until you find one that fits properly and install it. Then fully install your king pen. Being sure to line up the pinch bolt and then install your pinch bolt.
install your top and bottom cap. And then your grease fittings. And grease the kingpins. I like to move the spindle around as I grease them. Grease until grease comes out the center. Your new kingpin and bushings are finished and installed. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Got a lot of good stuff coming up here for you. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on doing your own wheel bearing races and seals. I'm going to show you S cams and bushings. Also, rebushing the rear suspension. We're just about to start on replacing the radiator here. We're going to show you a simple homemade tool for setting your own toe in, toe out alignment. Anyway, if, you enjoy, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you. Have a good day.